Okay, to uh, remove a T-post, you need a uh, floor jack that you can remove the center out of. Block of wood to go between the uh, ground and the jack, so the jack won't sink. A uh, hook, or a bolt, to uh, hook your chain up and drop down in the hole to hold one end of the chain. Piece of good heavy chain with a hook on the end. And at the end of the video, I'll uh, tell you about a connection between the uh, T-post and the uh, railroad. Okay, to uh, remove the T-post, I'll take a uh, piece of wood and I'll put it on the ground between the uh, jack and the ground so the jack won't sink in as you're uh, pulling the post up. Take a piece of chain and my uh, support rod and I'll place it in the jack get this up against the side and we'll take our hook we'll put it right around the back side here so that one of the uh, lugs is above the hook so at that point start uh, moving the jack up may have to place your foot on the back side to help support it. And at this point, uh, just a matter of work it up a little bit. Once you get it as high as you can, let the jack down. Come around, reposition your hook down to the next spot. And do that a few more times until we get it up out of the ground. It may take three, four tries, but eventually you'll uh, get it loose enough to uh, just pull straight up out of the ground. And there you go. Now I was going to tell you there's a uh, railroad connection to these T-posts seen a uh, program on TV a while back showed a uh, company that takes the old uh, rails and they will heat them up nice and hot and they will uh, slice the rails into uh, thin chunks and then they will uh, roll that hot piece of metal into the uh, shape of a T-post. So most of these uh, T-posts that you get are actually uh, recycled train track. It's a little bit of a railroad connection with these.